Is there any love? There's lots of love. Where's the love? Where's the love? <laughs> Give us a Where kiss. Where is it? <laughs> Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. Today we're catching up with Rob for part three of the series on his VW bus powered by a 964 Porsche engine. So we're going to head over to Rob's now and catch up with him. Let's crack on. I've been busy making all of the chassis um, strengthening stuff. Some of it anyway, starting to do it. A lot of people just go for like the 4x2 steel box section. But I want something a little bit more um, subtle. Well, not subtle, but a little bit more uh, in keeping. So I'm closing all these sections in that are normally open. So that then welds it and gives it a box to come across. I'm then going to have all of the original cross braces that are made out of one mil steel. I'm now remaking all those in two mil steel so when they all go in they'll all sit in and then it'll all be gusseted and welded and I'm the men making the rear, rear cross member will come across here the new strengthened one. I've got to cut the tubes out there which I've now marked but I haven't quite got the balls to cut just yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I was sitting there with a the grinder the other day thinking if I put the Porsche engine in or not do I, do I, do I yeah, so I, I did actually do a test cut so I'm ready to go but I just wanted a bit more bracing in the chassis before I do um, and then once that one's in the gearbox is going to come to about there the mounts will be there and there'll be extra strengthening coming back like, same style as the cross members but mini ones going back over here um, ordered up the oil cooler the other day, that's on its way from the States. Got myself a nice, great big 14 inch by 14 inch oil cooler, so yeah, that should keep okay. it nice yeah. and, and this real high power, nice fan, spout yeah, fan, so okay. that should keep it cool. Um, it's come such a long way, like all of this work. Rob's done all this himself. That's fair, it's a bit of clamping. Yeah. yeah. I'm just about to, that's what The underneath's come on such a long way. Painted, there's still a few bits. These holes, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to go with... Or I'm going to need to put the bumps in, the um, the, the oh, tubs. I'm it. I might need to, but uh, I'll only find that out once I get it on its wheels and stuff. Because I need to get it on the wheels so I can get the wheels, get it on its, ready to go on its wheels. So I can get everything measured up. So you get all the right, fitment and everything. All the right like, backspace yeah. and everything for the wheels. So that's where I'm heading. Hopefully by the end of this month, if I can find a set of um, just scrap wheels I can stick it on, it will be actually sitting on its wheels. It will have to go back into the rotisserie, but I want to get everything dry fitted. All of the oil systems, all the cooling systems, get the engine gearbox in, all the linkages, clutch, everything else all dry fitted. Then I'll take that all out and then I'll... Uh, Get it ready, then it'll be ready for paint or pre prepping for paint. Da, da, da. Woo, woo, it's woo, it's woo. only had the years and years and years and years of grime wiped off the outside of it, but at least now I can touch it. Yeah, but it's looking clean. But at least now I can touch it. And it's looking a lot, lot smaller, which is good. So getting rid of that enormous Porsche exhaust and all of the great big um, intake system and everything and the distributor and all that stuff and then end up with uh, uh, I'll have coil on plug 12 of them the uh, ITP is going back the independent throttle body a little bit of inkage and just try and keep it as clean as possible that's what I'm going for I like is that comp yeah so the 964 engine here cleaned up it's looking clean might still have a few oil legs but not too bad I guess the benefit of it being in the bus is that normally all the oil leaks are kind of mostly at the front and on a Porsche you've got to lift up uh, the car, get the motor out, mess around with it from there. In the bus you can just access it really easily and if worst comes to the worst and you've got to pull it out, like that's not the hardest job in the world. So it's the perfect engine for a VW bus, I think. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> 
then the plan is to mount the engine to the gearbox. Well, I'll mount the, I'm going to build a frame to sit on top of the lift. Yeah. Mount the engine on the lift, have that strapped down, and then I'll have the gearbox stuck on the back. And I can lift the engine and gearbox as one unit, and then I'll be able to slide in. The whole lot should just slide in with a bit of luck. And then I can just get it where exactly it needs to be, lock it down, and then... Um, and then, like you said, just build, build, off of that. build around it. Yeah. Like, it's the perfect way to kind of slide it in well, if you've got the space and the time to kind of do it. I'll give it a go. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, I've got all the other panels are all ready now to go on. Um, the cargo floor's all fitted. I've still got to drill the thousands of holes to weld it from the top. Um, the doors are all done. Tailgate, engine cover, cargo door. Got all of those coming, but... But yeah, sorting that out. Fuck, oh, it's so, so... Yeah, this side's better, but I need to push... I'll push my um, hard to move rotisserie <laughs> out of the way. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's hard to move this with brakes on. Lens has got brakes, it's oh, just not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's designed not to roll down the hills. So yeah, this side, I, I, I'm getting quite... Actually, I need to come back a bit. You need to see the front. I, I, I only turned it around yesterday, I wish I had them now. The nose clips are all ready to go on. It's all cut in, ready to roll. Um, but because I'm putting AC in there, because I'm, um, uh, I like some creature comforts, I wanted to have it off so I could get in there. It's just easier for access. Yeah. But yeah, I could probably get that on in a day. But it's all done. Yeah, because I think that was in the corner last time, but that's yeah. all, um, it was all kind of braced up a little bit differently, where that's all now ready to go, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little tiny bit of work left on getting this in. I've left these out. I read on the guy who's on the forum, he put me in and pushed him in too far. And after he had his bus paint, he couldn't get his headlights to fit. So I've, just, I've got the lights, I bought some lights from a guy in Germany. Some real nice, not new old stock, but as good as. Um, so he stuck them on, uh, they stay at Frankfurt Airport for nearly two weeks. And now I started, he goes, oh, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then they went from Frankfurt Airport um, to America. They've been to New Jersey in America. They're now across the other side to across to the other coast. So now in um, Washington state in a place called Kent. No one can do anything. We're just watching them to, so they're getting delivered. It's crazy. So anyway, long story, I, I haven't put the bowls in completely yet because uh, I'll wait until I go. <coughs> Plus that up, those are being bonded in anyway. That sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah. That stuff's crazy. The, uh, oh, this is all bonded on. So there's no bacon rust underneath now, it's solid, absolutely solid. And then it gets some like every now and then, I don't know what causes this, this is what I've got to learn. Every now and again you get, like, I think it was just a bit of shit in it. Yeah, so you just pick some crap. Well, I have found that you can, because I, I like this, because you can go back over it and get the weld puddle there. Is that the no, 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 that's the bad one. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bad one. Let's let's see. Steve. And then where's the good one? Where's the good one? Stevie Wonder did the weld in. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> this is the this is the weld practice piece. Oh, I'm learning to TIG weld. It is. It's like it's like yeah, they're going all right. But then you get to the horror show. Dun, What's dun, that? Dun. Who did that? That's Len. No, uh, that's that's me. That is. Oh, and then that's, you you. that's him. This is me. Look, here's yeah. one I did earlier. It's, like doing a it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's like doing here's a one lot. test. It's <laughs> like doing that thing where you got to scrub your stomach. Pack. But it's like doing it when you're drunk trying to TIG weld. It's really. Here's one that Lofty did with like, a like short like welding rod. Mig, MIG welded you. <laughs> Done. <laughs> this is all a little bit finesse. Finesse, I can't even spell finesse either. So the bus is all kind of structurally sound now. I think last time we were here, there were a lot more braces in and all the braces were actually tight, where now they're a little bit looser because uh, the bus is all held together. Look at that. See, and here we go. Starting to get a little bit of the Red 9 design going in as well. Really We're going to have to wing our way over when he's fitting the engine up because this will be good to see. All the substructure's going in. I wanted to wait to get it all in so as I do all the chassis stuff, um, all the chassis strengthening, it was all done at the same time. So all the I beams have been replaced, inner valance, top hats, um, outriggers, 
Uh, gear change control tube, they've got the, the uh, rod for the gear change in it. Um, C pillars done. Well, no holes fitted. fitted. <laughs> yeah, that's all fitted on now. I took that rough one off. I don't know if you remember it. Was oh, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so that's in. They fit nice. Which one does. Which one does yeah, because this one was the one that was all. Um, uh, rough and um, yeah. because it was matte, you couldn't really tell, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was really bad. Which, which do you want? Which it's one? the inside of this one. You know the grotty, the hellhole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to piece it all back together, but as they do this complete thing. Oh, yeah, and it, it comes all the way down, does it? Down to the. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, well, that's. No, cool. I just built that. Bit. I can't. Yeah. I've got the whole field. I just got it fell up a bit. I need to, when I cut that panel out on the inside, I can then get this worked back out with a hammer and dolly. That is um, grinding disc finish at the moment. So we're going wheels. Wheels. Don't drop your quality. Uh, uh, I think quality. I'm gonna, yeah, my, my world is just falling apart actually. <laughs> wheels. Uh, did it just break? I bent it, I bent it and broke it. That bit's still solidly put together. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry. I'm much better at big welding. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, they're going to be 17s, definitely. I think I can get seven wide on the front and nines on the back. Um, and they will be a bit modern. I was going to go for some nice flat, modern, flat fushis. Yeah. Um, okay. So I've got the choice at the moment of rotor form. They do nice ones. And they'll do any offset I want so I can make them fit properly. Or there's a company in Canada also, I think rotor form in Canada, and um, uh, called Augmented Wheel, Com Augmented Wheel Company. Yeah, okay. They do some nice ones as well. Cool. Uh, go on. Pakistan's finest muscle merchants, but I think the uh, the rotisserie weighs more than the frigging car. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the final de Brilliers Brazilianization. Brazilianization. De Brazilianization. Yeah, yeah. He's um, getting rid of the uh, incorrect shaped speedo. So we go with the 1960s speedo, not the later curvy one. Oh, look at that. This looks like a thing. Some scabs, but it'll be sorted out. That going. That's part of the reason why I haven't put the front either. And then just a really We've got more. Oh, 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 there's more. more, there's more, there's oh, more. Oh, actually, there is the Supreme I've got to show you. Obviously. And then to really mess with people's heads, I've got the later tree because I like it. Mine's got that, my boss. Yeah, but yours is the 60. 67. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a much like this is the, they put this in the bay as well. Oh, did they? But because I'm putting the air conditioning in, when it bolts, because these all sit behind. Yeah. Rather than just being like a bit of bent drain chin, once it goes in, it sits there. Yeah, and it all sits right. behind the thing. And it looks a little bit more retro. I like that. And because I'm doing air conditioning, I'm going to actually rig this up so it works properly. So that's all the air conditioning is going to blow through all that system. So what did it have before? It just has a pipe that comes down that has a sleeve around it and a bit on it that you move to open a big hole on the side. Oh, because that mind bus has got that, so I didn't know, I never yeah. noticed it. <coughs> and then I've got to show you one last thing, I'll go and get it from us. Oh, here we go, look. But this is a little bit premature getting the shifter, <laughs> but I actually need it for getting the engine and gearbox in, because I've got to adjust all the linkage and then make it all offset. That's a reasonable excuse. Yeah, so. I know, uh, back to us. Uh, There'll be a unveiling of oh, yeah. shifter. This chubby time. Chubby time. <laughs> She's your fully CNC machined beauty. That, that is. Yeah. Gorgeous. How's it going? 
I don't know. I don't know how he's going to go. He's got a, he doesn't even got the Porsche bushing, so yeah, it doesn't rattle that. like he's. Yeah, I got that on my one. Yeah, but it's not as fancy as that. No. That's a fancy Dan one. Oh, 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 oh mine's oh. fancy Dan. That's triple fancy Dan. I was going to have. I was going to buy the one. The guy that there's that hay uh, hay burner magazine. And yeah, they yeah. do that. The bug tech one. That's sealed by the guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got in touch with him because I thought, yeah, I'll order one. And I get it all customised and I'll have it all nice and I'll work with him and we'll design something really special. So I couldn't email him, he wouldn't let me email him. I was only allowed to work on Messenger, Facebook Messenger. And that stupid thing, I couldn't even send him any photographs. So then I said to him, can you do the one with all the nice holes in it? Oh, we don't do the holes anymore. Oh, can you do this? No, I can't do that. And I said, okay, don't worry. <laughs> and then I just happened to look on the vintage speed site, because I really liked the Black Mamba originally, but they only sold it for the type for the Beetle. And then I spotted it. Either I missed it before or whatever, and then they had this one on there, so I thought. It's quality, vintage speed quality. It was meant to be. Yeah, they, they, are, um, they are very good. Yeah, yeah. That's a great shifter. Well, yeah, I've got the vintage speed for the double cab, but it's the just the classic with the Porsche bush and all that for the yeah. small shifting. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video and the update on Rob's bus. Um, seems to be cracking on. I guess if there's any benefit of quarantine that he's had is that he's really been able to put some hours into the bus. Well, hopefully you'll be able to catch up with him soon when he does his test fit on the engine and gearbox into the bus and the fit up and we can take a bit of a closer look at that which might only be probably a couple of weeks away so um, we'll catch up with him soon uh, please like subscribe comment anything that you'd like to see please let us know and we'll catch you soon with a new video see you later guys bye